Tina at your screen and welcome back to my channel and this is the look I came up with today and using all drugstore products and you're gonna see a lot of first impressions in this video because I've been collecting makeup since quite some time now and I finally put them to test today in this video so a lot of things did work out however some were really really nasty products but nonetheless I kind of mixed match and fixed this whole situation just like I do in real life. What up reality reference? Yes girl. So I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful, soft, glam, very well Valentine's Day tutorial because honestly, this is the kind of look I would personally wear if I have to go for my first Valentine date whenever that happens. Let's hope for the best. So yeah, without any more rambling, let go. So I've got you guys a little closer and I've tied my hair up so that you know all the distraction in this world is out of my way. So I think I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face using my Nivea moisturizer and I'm just going to apply it on my face and I think give it a good massage. While it's getting soaked into my skin, I'm going to unwrap my foundation which is the LA Girl HD Pro Illuminating Full Coverage Foundation. It has a very long name and I've got it in the shade Nude Beige. And as you can see, it's sealed. I haven't yet tried it. I've opened the packaging and I'm going to give it a good shake. Now, it was a huge task to select a shade in this particular foundation, especially on Nykaa. Because the name is different and the shade looks different and it's a hot mess. We have a little bit of foundation. This, it is not very thick, but it's not very runny. It's somewhere in between. And it's very creamy, I have to say. I've heard this is a full coverage, so usually I would go with a beauty blender. But I think since this is so thin, I think the beauty blender will absorb a lot of product. So I'm going to go with my brush. So this is a last minute decision I'm doing. So let's see. I have to say my first impression, it's getting blended very easily. This is how my final foundation looks like. It is a very dewy and very glowy, I have to say. Then I'm going to use my Miss Claire Full Coverage Concealer. And as you can see, it's sealed. I haven't used it yet. And this is in the shade 02 Fair. I've heard this is a dupe for the NYX concealer. Ooh, it's very creamy, I have to say. But I have to say that a packaging is a little problem. So you would need a brush to get it off. And you need the tiniest amount of this concealer. And this spreads in magically. It feels very creamy. I think I'm going to blend it with the Beauty Blender just because it is so creamy that with a brush it would give me strokes of brushes which I don't want. So as you can see I'm changing uh, my selection of tools with respect to what consistency I'm going for. So I think that's one thing we all have to keep in mind. And now to set my face I'm going to use uh, my VOV Translucent Powder. Well it's not technically new because it's like my repurchase and Okay. I am so excited and happy that I finally got it because honestly I was absolutely not at all enjoying my Lacme Loose Powder. I mean it wasn't bad but not my type. So I'm done with a little bit of baking. I'm not going very heavy. This is how my current situation looks like and now we're gonna move straight to the eyes. This is how the palette looks like. It's so pretty and gorgeous how all the shade looks like. And I have swatched a couple of shades here and there, but I haven't really used it ever. However, it is still cool tone and I'm more of like a warm tone sort of a person. But today I felt like, you know what, this is a good time to experiment with these cooler tones. And let's see how we go about that. You guys have some really quirky names. So I like such stuff. So I think I'm going to start with my brow bone. I'm going to start with this matte shade right here, which is called... Love is a drug, uh-huh, I like it. Very appropriate for today's video. And currently I'm highlighting it in a matte shade. The next shade I'm going to use is this shade right here. It's a beautiful mauve sort of a brown which I love. And it's called I Believe and I'm going to take it on my deluxe crease brush. And I'm going to apply it directly into my crease. I know for sure that I don't want anything defined as such. I mean that's at least what I'm going for. Let's see how things turn out. So, so this is a chatty video. I thought I should update you guys on certain things. If you are thinking as to what are my plans on this Valentine's Day, well, basically, the 14th Feb for me is like a national holiday. I choose to shut down my social media and just sit at home and relax and have fun. 
with life because to be honest i'm not really interested in knowing about with whom are you in relationship huh? because after seven days i'm going to listen to your breakup story to be honest i'm not really going to enjoy your stories of how you've chose to ruin your life voluntarily you know what i mean i feel like i'm giving like an anti valentine's day speech but well that's how it is so i like my crease so far it looks good to me then i want to define it ever so slightly but nothing too harsh so i'm gonna go with this plummy color right here in my heart <laughs> wow this palette is so appropriate for a valentine's day look i mean if you have a girlfriend who loves makeup you should totally gift her this because the packaging is so cute it's just like perfect for valentine's day and even the names of the shades you guys awesome next i'm going to define my outer corners and for that i'm going to use this shade right here it's a it's not really a black but it's like, like a blackish grayish sort of situation i can't explain and i'm just gonna go ever so slightly i just don't want my eyes to look flat basically fun fact about me i don't know how fun that is but i have never ever ever dated yup because to be honest in my mind i'm just like yes this is going to happen to me officially once i'm like 25 plus my parents are officially going to be willing for me to get married and that time even if I want to be single I cannot be single so you know getting into relationship and commitment this is going to come my way like some or the other day it's meant to happen I mean now that I'm single I should probably enjoy me being single because this is something not permanent you know me being in relationship is for sure going to happen uh, I don't know if I'm making sense but that's totally something that I constantly keep thinking and I'm just like no no relationship because that's going to happen to me some or the other day but this singlehood of mine which I'm enjoying and having fun with, this is not going to come back. So this is something I want to enjoy thoroughly whatsoever. So yep, that's a little gun from my end. I like how they have turned very soft and delicate. I'm thinking if I should add this. I think I'm going to leave my eyes as it is for now because I really like how soft they look. I don't want to add any shimmer. So I'm going to use this white shade again and I'm just going to apply it right on the lid part where i have absolutely no eyeshadow so that it just looks like a beautiful soft eye situation and i'm going to go back with the crease colors once again just to give them a final touch up because i really like how soft they look but just because i have a new eyeliner to try i'm gonna go for it and that is the hyper gloss eyeliner from Maybelline and <laughs> haven't used it at all. Finally I made it open and I'm, I'm just proud of myself at this point. And this is how this eyeliner looks like. I'm gonna give it a good shake. So this is how the eyeliner looks like. Okay it's pretty black. Maybe not the blackest black but I mean for this sort of a look it's not bad at all. I think it's more for like an everyday sort of a look. Okay, I really really like this. It is not too liquidy, it's not too thick, it's a perfect consistency and it's very easy. It glides on softly, doesn't really tug on. So yeah, I like it so far. I don't feel it is very glossy, like do you think this is very glossy? Like, I know Lakme has a glossy eyeliner and that is extremely glossy, like trust me when I say that. I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Vivid Lacquer and this is basically a cream blush. Like, I took the tiniest amount of blush and this is in the shade Heat and I haven't really tried it ever. It's not very creamy. I mean, can you see this looks patchy to me i don't like it i'm not going to ruin my beautiful eye makeup for such stupid thing so i think this was a fail for me rather i'm not going to give up on this i will try to make it work i have to say there is a little bit of settling of this foundation in my crevices and i also have to agree that this foundation does oxidize so yeah that's a little update on foundation then for my contour i'm going to use a new product and that is the la girl pro face matte hd powder it is very pigmented and it is very creamy so I'm going to use such type of contour brush and I'm going to go ever so slightly and ooh look at the pigmentation I'm excited for this actually mm. ooh can you see it is so harsh okay still harsh in the area I applied so I think you have to be extremely careful and not take a lot but then nonetheless it does kind of blend but I still feel it's a little 
blotchy over here. So for blush, since my cream blush didn't really work, I'm going to use my MUA blush in the shade 03. And I'm just going to apply it ever so slightly on my cheeks. I'm just going to give it a good blend. And my favorite part, the highlighter. And for that, I'm going to use this massive highlighter, which is my Makeup Revolution. It is their Pro Illuminator. And there is no shade in this. So I'm assuming this is like one shade that they have. And I think it's a beautiful shade and it's huge, okay? I'm not even kidding. And I was actually confused if I should use my Anastasia one or this one, but I wanted to keep this drugstore. Hence, I went with this one. Ooh, the highlight. I like it. Okay. I like it. I like it. So guys, let me know what is your plan for this Valentine's Day. If you have a Valentine. Because I would love to know what's up with your life since I told you mine. You totally have to tell me yours as well. I'm really excited to know. But I think this is the kind of look I would probably wear if I have to go on a date. If I ever go on a date. That is, I do smoke out my lower lash line because I think it looks a little incomplete. So I'm going to go back to this beautiful Valentine's Day appropriate palette. This shade and this shade. And just apply it on my lower lash line. So guys, I, I hope you all know that on 21st of Feb, we have elections, so please do vote, especially all the young generation. I think it's very careless of you if you think your vote doesn't really matter because it definitely does. So please do vote and and to the ones who are born in 98, <laughs> like me, high five. It's going to be your first time voting, so I'm really excited. I hope you guys are too. For the one that you're doing this makeup for, might not value you, but the nation definitely values you. So, yes, please do vote. I don't really want to add any shimmer in my inner corner, so I'm just going to add the same Love Is Your Drug eyeshadow because even though I want to open my eyes, I don't want to make anything look obvious. And the last thing is a lipstick. Now, while this is not technically a newer lipstick in the sense I have used this brand and this formula, but the shade is new and that is my Colourpop lipstick in the shade String Grey? String J? I don't know. I will leave the name right on the screen so that you don't judge me. Yeah, I'm just gonna set my face one last time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, then please don't forget to give it a oh, big thumbs up. That would really, really mean a lot to me and that would definitely count my efforts gone in this video. Then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button right below so that you get notified.